Um, I have a question about New York versus LA as an actor. Do you feel that you can um, grow up here, study here, work here um, without having to move out to LA to be a serious actor? Yes. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, neither of us has lived in LA. We, no. we were talking about this earlier. Um, I, I think it, you know, there are a lot of jobs in LA, actually less now. Um, now yeah. I think there are more jobs in New York, actually. Way more, yeah. Um, in, in film and, and TV. But I, I never felt that I had to move to LA to, to get work. Um, and generally, if they want you out there for something, they'll fly you out, and then you don't even have to pay for your plane ticket, yeah. which is great. Um, <laughs> there's just also, like, there's great uh, classes, and there's a lot of, there's always great work in New York. It may not be as plentiful, it may be harder to pay the bills sometimes, but I would say the work there has, you know, continuously been important in terms of what's going on with acting. Um, so, yeah, I think it's good to try and make it there. And, and I think like place. theater is a huge part of it too. Yeah, and film and, and now we have TV because yeah. there's this big tax credit. Hopefully they'll renew it, but everyone's very busy, so. Hi. Hi, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Do, does either of you have a preference for the medium that you would most like to work in, whether it's film or stage or television? or whatever you call what Netflix is. <laughs> <laughs> little internet show. Yeah. <laughs> the web series. Um, I like all of them. Um, I want to continue to do all of them for the rest of my life. Um, I mean, I have a very special place in my heart for theater. I think in a lot of ways it is sort of the actor's medium in that you know, TV, it's very much about the writers. Film is very much about the director. But with a play, it's, it's always a collaboration. But in the end, you know, the writer starts writing a new play and the director has a new show. And then it's sort of, after you've opened, it's left with you guys to, to deal with the text and the story. And so there's something really special about that. And working with a live audience is great. But all of them, wonderful. Yeah, I kind of feel like um, if I'm working on one, thing for a while, you know, if I'm shooting a lot, I sort of start to get a craving for a play um, and and really want that. And then if I've been doing a play for a while or doing, you know, a few plays back to back, then it's sort of like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. It would be great to just, you know, be on a set and do a scene one time all day and be done with it. Um, you know, they're, they're wonderful in, in different ways. And what's really exciting about about right now is that you can really do all of them. I think uh, if you go back a few decades, maybe, or even less than that. A decade. <laughs> people, yeah, one decade. You would, people would get kind of pigeonholed, and it's like, oh, that TV actor or that theater actor. And there wasn't as much crossover as there is now. And it's, you know, you see somebody on TV, and then they're doing a, a you know, Harry Potter is doing a play on Broadway right now. Yeah. And, um, and it's, it's something that's really, I think, special and exciting. Um, hi, uh, I'm an aspiring actress, uh, but I'm wondering from your personal experience, what were like your first steps in this business and what would be your advice for like a young actor like me, if you have any? Well, um, I think the first thing is to find a really good acting class um, with a network of people who are also very good actors and interested in creating work. I think that's like really important. I think, and in connected to that idea, I think it's always important to me, make your own art. I mean, if you and your friends want to make a play, like you can do that or make a movie. Like the technology has gotten to the place where you can make a movie on your phone and it could look awesome. So uh, I would say, yeah, great. find a really good acting class. The Bear Group, that's where I studied theater in the city. It's very reasonably priced and they had great scene studies. And uh, and and write and think about doing things. Not don't don't be held hostage by the fact that like you have to audition for the job all the time. Like make your own work. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and and I would say go and see things. Um, you know, go and and see things and and notice what you like and what you don't like, and then notice who worked on the things that you liked and try and find a way to somehow work with them. And definitely like YouTube is amazing like my the first thing I did out of grad school was a web series 
um, that we shot. Like it was just me and a bunch of friends and we shot it and we put it up on YouTube and we would put one episode up every couple of weeks. And one of the other guys that I shot this thing with actually ended up on House of Cards. And so we, the two of us were like, well, wow, we have like a slightly bigger web series now. 